When it comes to action cameras and drones, DJI is a name that resonates with cutting-edge innovation. Now, they're venturing into new territory with the DJI Osmo 360, a 360-degree camera set to challenge industry giants like GoPro and Insta360. With GoPro facing delays on its Max 2 and Insta360 dominating this niche, DJI's bold move could shake up the market. But does the Osmo 360 have what it takes to make a real impact? Let's explore the latest leaks, design highlights, and what this could mean for creators and competitors alike. The first clues about the Osmo 360 emerged from a U.S. Federal Communications Commission filing, revealing a model named Oreo OQ. Such filings often serve as treasure troves for tech enthusiasts, and this one was no exception. Technical diagrams showcased precise dimensions, dual antennas for enhanced wireless connectivity, and an emphasis on heat management, key considerations for a compact camera. It's clear that DJI is sparing no effort in this venture. Leaked schematics, visualized through renders by trusted sources like Hakushushi, hint at a design that's both compact and user-friendly. The familiar GoPro-style form factor ensures ease of use for seasoned action camera users, while its dual-lens setup promises seamless 360 degrees footage. A front-facing, landscape-oriented display simplifies shot framing, catering to adventurers and creators who value portability and simplicity. Attention to detail is evident in every aspect of the Osmo 360. Its battery compartment and controls are intuitively positioned for on-the-go adjustments, and optimized microphone placement aims to deliver crystal-clear audio. By tackling common challenges like wind noise and ambient sound interference, DJI appears to be creating a camera that prioritizes real-world usability. Performance-wise, the Osmo 360 is shaping up to be a powerhouse. Rumors point to dual sensors capable of recording stunning 8K video with vibrant colors and remarkable clarity. Coupled with AI-powered editing features, such as automated highlight reels and advanced stitching, the camera could simplify the complex workflows of 360 degrees content creation. For those with adventurous ambitions, its lightweight build, reportedly under 250 grams, may even support drone-mounted 360-degree shots, opening doors to new creative possibilities. Of course, Insta360 has set a high standard with its polished editing software and superior stitching algorithms. The big question is whether DJI can match or surpass these benchmarks. If the Osmo 360 delivers AI-driven tools and a seamless user experience, it could pose a significant challenge to Insta360's dominance. And even if the initial iteration doesn't fully meet expectations, DJI's history of rapid innovation suggests they'll refine and improve quickly. The timing couldn't be better. GoPro's repeated delays with the Max 2 have left a void in the market, and DJI is perfectly positioned to capitalize. While Insta360 software expertise gives them an edge, DJI's strong hardware capabilities and reputation for quality might be enough to shift the industry's dynamics. For consumers, increased competition is a win. It could drive down prices and accelerate advancements, giving creators access to better tools at more affordable rates. Moreover, DJI's entry could broaden the appeal of 360 degrees cameras, encouraging more creators to experiment with immersive content and unlocking new possibilities for storytelling. Rumored to launch in early 2025, the Osmo 360 promises to be a game changer with features like 8K recording, AI editing, optimized audio, and a compact, creator-friendly design. The only lingering question is whether DJI can nail the software, arguably the most critical aspect of a 360 degrees camera. What do you think? Can DJI disrupt the 360 degrees camera market? Or does Insta360's head start make it too tough to beat? Share your thoughts in the comments below.